A for no not apple alberta i wanna sing you a song when my ukulele is like say i'm in the rock hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is tapan and i'm back with a new video so in today's video we will be talking about the AINP that is Alberta Immigration Nominee Program and which is the best stream with for which stream most international students go for what are the basic requirements and i will just talk about it and give you guys some important information regarding the eligibility criteria and how you can apply so without any further ado let's get right onto the video so what are some good things about AINP there is no age limit for applying so you can be 18 years old or you can be 35 years old doesn't really matter second the crs score that you require to apply is really low that is just 300 points and you do not even need a job offer third that your education could be as low as high school education everything from october 1st 2020 is now fully online so that is the best part because earlier in the days They, it was a paper based process so sending papers receiving papers papers used to get lost all the human errors and everything super boring and long process but from october 1st 2020 this process is now fully online because of of course covid 19 and it's good next you will get 600 points if you receive a nomination certificate from alberta let's get into a little detail about alberta immigration nominee program there are four major streams two of them are for students and two of them are for entrepreneurs to name them the first one is alberta opportunity stream the second one is alberta express entry stream self employed farmers and international graduates who are looking to be entrepreneurs these are the four streams and out of these four the one that most international students go for is the alberta express entry stream now you guys might be thinking that isn't express entry and pnp different yes they are if you haven't watched my video check this video out because that will answer your question let's talk about the alberta express entry stream i will give you a brief about this stream and uh, that will help you to learn more about it. so first ainp officials will will send you uh, a notification of interest if you are eligible to directly your express entry profile you do not need to have a particular job offer however we will get into it in detail uh, of course you need to work right which in which occupation should you work that totally depends on uh, the current market needs of alberta so they have not given any lists of occupations in which you should be working however they have given a list of ineligible occupations which are in the description box below so please feel free to check them out students from any canadian post secondary institution can apply for pr under this stream now if you receive a nomination letter then you will gain 600 points now what are the requirements and eligibility for this the first requirement is that you need to fulfill the requirements of any one of the express entry stream now express entry stream which is federally regulated has three streams the first one is canadian experience class federal skilled trades and federal skilled workers you need to fulfill the requirement of any of these three streams if you fulfill uh, the requirement for more than one good for you but one is minimum okay second that your express entry profile should be valid for at least 5 months you need to have at least 5 months left for the expiry what is the thing that you can do if your profile will expire in let's say less than 5 months you can delete your old profile and create a new profile it is absolutely free no money required while you are creating your express entry profile you have to state your interest in living in alberta so once you are creating your uh, express entry profile you will be asked that in which provinces would you like to live in that you have to click on alberta now if you do not click on alberta alberta's provincial government will not know that there is a person named tapan who wants to live in alberta they will not know that so you have to click on alberta okay next you need to have at least 1 year of work experience uh, in any job 
which will support Alberta economically. Now, as I said, it is a bit funny because they have not given any lists uh, of jobs in which you should be working for. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. But they ha they do have given lists of jobs that are ineligible. I will leave the link in the description box below. Feel free to check that out. Next, as I said earlier, you, the minimum CRS points that you should have is 300. Now, that is one of the best parts about this particular stream. Even if you have 301 points or 300 points, you are still eligible for it. So that is fantastic and I think everyone would have 300 points, no? <laughs> you should also be able to show the proof of funds. Next, you need your IELTS or CELPIP result, which are non le not less than two years old. And you should have a CLB of minimum seven. To find out the CLB level, description box below, there is a link. Last, you need an ECA report of at least your high school. Now, as I said, wait, do not come here after your high school because it's really risky. So wait, listen to me carefully. Now, the thing here is, even though they do not say that you need a CLB level of seven or CLB of five or whatever, they don't say that on their website. However, you need this to create your express entry profile. Now, in order to create that your express entry profile, you need to have this. So I have included in this list. That's the only reason, no other reason, okay? Now, in order to gain more points, what you can do is you can get a job offer letter or past work experience in Alberta. So let's say as soon as you complete your studies, you move to Alberta and work, work there for one year, okay, in the field that helps Alberta economically, then that will count towards your this thing. You will get more points. Second, you have to be grad you have to be a graduate of a post-secondary institutions. So that is why I'm saying that if you are in high school, do not come to Alberta because you will probably not get enough points. So get your diploma, get completed high school, get your diploma or advanced diploma or degree from a post-secondary institution. Let me say Canadian post-secondary institution and that will help you to get more points and more chances. Third is that you need to have a close relative, your mom, dad, brother, sister, who is already a permanent resident or a Canadian citizen and living in Alberta. Now, how can you apply? So as I said, first you need your ECA, that is Educational Credential Assessment. Second, you need your language result. Third, you need to create your Express Entry Profile. You need these two things, the first two that I said, to create your Express Entry Profile. Now, while you're creating your Express Entry Profile, you have to show your interest that you are interested in living in Alberta. Now, what you have to do is wait. You cannot do anything. You have to wait for Alberta to pick you up <laughs> from the Express Entry Pool. Okay, of the federal government Express Entry Pool, they will pick you and they will send you a, no a notification of interest. Once you get the notification of interest, you have to confirm it. How can you confirm it? No. Do not reply by saying that I accept it or I confirm it. No. To confirm it, you have to send them the copy of your notification of interest within the two weeks with your express entry profile number and other documents that they say you but you need your notification of interest copy and your express entry profile number. You have to send these two things to them within the two weeks from the day you receive it. Now, once you send these things to them, they will confirm your uh, submission. Okay, they will see that your express entry profile is correct and your nomination or, or your notification of interest is also correct. They will see that. Okay. Now, uh, on which email do you have to send it to them? They, they will send you the email as well. I cannot say which email they will use, but that email would have an extension of at gov.ab.ca. Yes, they do not use Gmail, Yahoo, Rediff, Hotmail. Uh, yeah, they do not use all these extensions. So if you get an email from that, it is a fraud. Do not fall for it. They will use an extension of at gov.ab.ca. Now, if you are selected, then they will uh, email you and they will tell you that you have to submit an official application on the link that they provide in the email. That link will take you to the AINP portal or which is also called as MADI, that is uh, My Alberta Digital ID portal. And uh, you have to create your ID account on that portal and you have to upload the documents. Now I will strongly encourage you guys to use the same email to create your MADI profile that you have used to get your notification of interest and for creating your express entry profile. My personal suggestion is that you use same email for each and every government related things. On that portal, you will get a list of documents that you need to submit. Once you submit those documents, you will get an 
AINB file number, store that file number with you and then you have to pay a fees of $500. I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's not. Wow, that rhymed, no? Yes. So yes, uh, it's not that high because in some provinces it is as high as $1,000 or $1,500 and in Alberta it is just $500, so it is good. By the way, by the way, the fees that you pay are non-refundable. So even if you are accepted, good for you. If you are rejected, bad for you. The fees will not be refunded. So that's the bad part. But anyways, uh, you will get an email afterwards uh, from at gov.ab.ca saying that you have been accepted. Congratulations. Now, if you have been accepted, you will get a nomination certificate in your express entry profile and 600 points will be granted to you. So in the next uh, rounds of invitation, you will have around 1000 points, which will technically guarantee your PR. However, I hope this does not happen to anyone, but if you are rejected, then you will be given a reason or multiple reasons of why you have been rejected. Now, if you think that those reasons are not good, if you think that those reasons are useless, then you can request a reconsideration. That means that you can tell them that like, bro, my thing, bro, is not good. Like your reasons are not, you know, enough. Please reconsider my profile. They will reconsider it. And if they feel that it was their mistake, they will give you a nomination certificate. But if they feel that you are still not fulfilling that the reasons that they said are correct. Okay. They will ask you that, please, you know, do something about it. Do that and follow the process again. Now, let's assume that you got accepted. You get 600 more points. Now we have 1000 points. So uh, you will get an ITA that is invitation to apply. Fill the forms and apply and you will get your Canadian PR after waiting for a while, by the way. That was pretty much it for today's video. I hope this helped you. If it did, be sure to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with all your friends. And please subscribe. It really helps this channel a lot. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take it easy. Jai Hind.